So the patient contact is, I think it pretty much starts from week two or so. So you go on rotations every month or so to a GP clinic or to a secondary care environment at the same time down at the hospital. And it just, it gets you involved a lot more with patients. So you do get thrown into the deep end a little bit, but it's really beneficial because you don't have that lag period of worrying about it the whole time. My favorite thing about BSMS is probably doing the clinical days on a Tuesday. So we have a lecture about the clinical topic and then we break into smaller groups to discuss it in a seminar. And then in the afternoon we have a rotation at the hospital or in the GP surgery, which is really fun. And it's really interactive, which I really enjoy. Um, in BSMS we have patient contact really really early on like even in the I think it was second week when I met my first patients and it's um, it's great because that means that once you get into your clinical phase you're not scared of patients because you've already met them and you've already taken histories and done exams on them so it just like it also like shows you that what you're actually working for and gives you this extra motivation for your studying. Moving into the clinical part of the course initially was a bit tough, but because earlier in the first year and second years we've been prepared by patient contact, daily placement to the GPs, there was a quite seamless integration from second year into third year. And also going into clinical uh, years, you have assigned to us each individual a clinical academic tutor. And my clinical academic tutor has ensured, ensured that I have a fantastic support network to be able to integrate seamlessly into the clinical years.